Hi guys, and uh, I'm just trying to uh, take this outside and try and show you what it actually looks like in uh, daylight, but it's so bright that I think it's going to wash out on the camera. Um, but yeah, it's all finished. Uh, it took me a while. Um, uh, as you see, there's a, a bucket load of uh, detail on uh, Rex here, and uh, I enjoyed painting it. Um, it was awesome. Uh, like I've said in, in the previous unboxing video, you know, um, we've not working on a Forge World Mini before. You know, you don't appreciate uh, the difference between, you know, GW's plastics and uh, their resins. Now, um, it, you do need uh, to spend more time with them, not just because of the detail, because of the nature of the resin. Uh, uh, you definitely have to do more cleanup work. Um, with them, um, I always wash my plastic sprues and my metal miniatures um, to make sure the paint adheres. But with the Forge World uh, models, um, it's a must. Uh, the mold release they use with the resin, um, it's it's not something you want to leave on the model uh, at all. So you really have to be careful to make sure you clean the mini up uh, well. Uh, and also, you you'll get the odd bubble here and there that needs green stuff in. And uh, might need uh, resetting in uh, in hot water because there might be a tiny little bit warped so I come into a little bit of a problem with the cape there but nothing that you should be able to see under the camera but other than that uh, beautiful mini now I went for a highly polished uh, look to the sword now I don't know how the lights picking it up but um, I was gonna go for non-metallic metal well, I actually did actually I painted the sword and I just didn't like it it looked too cartoony on that blade and uh, I was debated about half an hour what to do about it I was just really unsure but um, Kareem 33 sent me a funny PM he says I want him to look as ostentatious and uh, as pompous as possible I thought you don't get more pompous than a huge whopping shiny silver blade ready to cut through the uh, enemy um, I think yeah it's turned out really well um, also I've made sure that whenever I've done a, a purity seal, this is good for um, others out there is if you know generally purity seals are, are red um, you know the, the wax part of it if that's what it's supposed to be the, the actual seal um, is red but when you're going against uh, a red background and then you do a red seal it sort of like washes out um, so you don't want to color clash so wherever possible change the color of the purity seal uh, accordingly so purple's another nice color which i didn't use on these but um yeah um going into the shield there i put like a green screen on the inside of the shield and um i don't know how the camera's picking it up but the actual gun hilt's got so much detail on it as the, the um handle of the uh, gun there and i managed to just about um keep my hand steady enough to get to get the uh, fine little scroll work uh, done there but yeah um, I hope you like it like I say I wanted to keep it as close to the Forge World website as possible because you said you like that but at the same time I, I tried um, to uh, tidy up a little a few things that, that I, I wasn't too keen on on there uh, but yeah let me know what you think. I'm, I'm hoping uh, that uh, the rest of them will all be done by early next week. So, you know, I'm hoping to uh, wrap it up by, uh, you know, Monday stroke Tuesday. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Really uh, enjoyed painting this and uh, three more bad boys to finish. Okay, uh, catch you on the next one, guys.